are back on Ortega Freeway. We have a ZR1 behind me. It's going to be the first ever day I've taken this car to OC Cars and Coffee. Well, what better way to do it, right? We've got a new C8 Corvette, a ZR1, and also we've got the Super Snake. You just want to go faster and faster and faster. But the funny part is the car is not too loud. So it's like you hear all this wind noise, a Nissan Juke Nismo. And then I think it's a Nismo. It says Nismo on the, um, the flaps behind the tires. We have a Porsche in front of that and then a Mustang way up there. So um, if they are going to the car show, like, I think they are. I think the turnout is just going to be unbelievable. Look at that view right there. Super Snake and ZR1. That's what I'm talking about. If you're running who's driving the Super Snake behind us, it's Scott, our resident filmer here on the channel. He's such an awesome guy. <laughs> it's the morning, we're on the coast, we have a mid-engine Corvette with no roof, driving to cars and coffee. How could it be even more exciting? Plus, there hasn't been an event like this for months, so I, I can't imagine the turnout. Man, that ZR1 looks next level. That's such a fast track car. I can't believe the traffic here though, there's, there's so many people. McLarens and... Oh, Boss 302s. A C8 Corvette right there, way up there. Did not even see it. Same color, too. Look at this lineup of cars. So this entire row, we've been here for about, I don't know, like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm barely making it through right now. I was stuck in the street earlier. There's people everywhere all around us. I I've just, again, I've never seen a car show like this before. Cameras, we got a bug right there. But one cool thing is that we can look behind us and see how close the car is behind us. So we've got the C8 Corvette right here next to the ZR1 in Sebring Orange. And coming this way more, we have a GT2 RS. Now, I'm hoping the new ZR1 variant of the C8 when it comes out in a few years at least matches the performance of this, if not beats it. I know, know that's a huge um, benchmark to compare it against, but um, the GT2 RS is such an amazing track car, honestly. Another C8 Corvette, this one is actually wrapped. So what do you think of the wrapped C8? I'm surprised, so so far, I think five are actually here. That's a lot. I think I know why um, there's not many cars around here. So on the, uh, the website it says, everyone has to park one space apart. Car spot, car spot. Asking me to rev it. I'm not gonna get kicked out today. But now let's head to the front. Now, um, I think John talked to the main owners over here and they're gonna allow us in the main parking area for, for, for the show. So I think everybody had turned on back earlier. Is that a uh, 675 L? That's a 675 LT. He's got like, a custom wrap on it or something. Let's keep going to find a spot. Here, so park in, park in between the line right there and he's gonna bring his GT500 over. Here. Um, This spot right here, right? Yeah, I'll show you what right here. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. With the rear view uh, camera, it, it's weird. Like I can like, look at the view on this. Oh, I yeah, can't yeah, see yeah, your sorry. hands. <laughs> There you go, that's what I'm talking about. 67,500. Where do they, who does it better? As you guys know, 755 horsepower with this car. It's got carbon ceramic brakes, tons of aero with it. I, I couldn't imagine tracking this car. I think all in all, the zero to 60 for this car is rated at 2.9 or 2.8, which is even with the C8 Corvette. So the question is, will the mid-engine platform actually beat it out of the dig, even though this is the most advanced C7 Corvette ever made. Well, it seems like everybody is finally uh, heading out. There's not many people here left anymore. Um, we've got Joe's GT500 track pack right there, and the C8, and John ZR1. Next up, we're getting some food, and after that, then we're gonna try to do a quick 0-60 between uh, these two amazing Corvettes. Okay, so we're back on Ortega Freeway, heading to our location to do some 0-60s to with the C8 Corvette and John ZR1. It looks so cool right behind me right now. The question is, which one is gonna be quicker in your real world environment. Just randomly spur the moment, if you did do a zero to 60 with a ZR1 on the street, 
what car would get there quicker with more ease. Okay guys, we have made it to the road in the test at. We've got John right here. Man, your ZR1, dude. Yep. It looks amazing. How do you like it? Man, it's it's probably one of the most exhilarating cars I've, I've had. Um, I've gone through, you know, Japanese cars, Germans, but this is just such a raw, uh, unaltered feeling that I, I can't even compare it to anything. I can't imagine how it feels like at the track, right, Court? Have you tracked it before? Yeah, 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 twice. There, there you go, man. Well, what tracks? Uh, Button Willow and then uh, Spring Mountain. So how do you think it's going to do? 0 to 60 wise. I know this is was the fastest Corvette 0 to 60. Yeah, the fastest I've gotten down to, Chevy's got their advertisement at 2.8. The best I've gotten it with Cup 2s in the rear was about 2.9. That that's, was heating them up. That's still good though, man. Oh, yeah. That's fast. Yeah. Do you have the manual or the... Uh, it's auto, 8-speed so auto. Automatic. So that's probably why you were able to get that done. Yeah, oh, right? yeah. With, with, with the manual, you got to be a lot more easy on the throttle. <laughs> yeah. Nice to it, yeah. I'm excited about this. And you know, oh, one yeah, cool thing too. that we could do is that... I can give you a ride in that car. I can oh, give yeah, definitely. Of definitely have you been compare. the C8 before, actually? No, I've never been in the C8. So you're, you're going to feel the difference with mid-engine now versus front-engine, All that way to the rear, yeah. And... And also, you're going to notice how much further forward you're going to be sitting because you don't see in your car, you can see the hood, right? Oh, yeah. The entire yeah. the it, supercharged. It doesn't hide. It does not hide. No. <laughs> but man, I'm excited. It's fun to do this. Yeah, me too. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> so, one thing he has in his car, it is straight pot. So, that's why it's so loud right now. Oh my gosh, that was loud. I don't know. That. That was fast. I don't know if 495 horsepower versus almost 800. Oh my gosh. The ZR1 was actually very straight and it put them to power pretty well. Now both of us got three seconds or sixties. Um, I was 0.3 seconds faster than zero sixty on high speeds. You just saw how he was gonna gap me. Ready, man? First time in the C8 Corvette, right? Oh yeah. Now it's not gonna be as loud as your car. That's gonna be the, the first thing. <laughs> but oh, this is nice. It's got that new car smell too. Yeah, yeah. And as you can see, you don't see the hood, do you? No. It oh my God, this is so straight weird. Straight down. It's so weird seeing the 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 wind. It, man, it, you, it feels so inside. exotic just they sitting. Look behind you right now. Wow. With carbon fiber, the LT2 V8. It's so different. You got this is the two LT. Either three LT or two, two LT in your car. Oh, it's three. Three LTs. So you yeah. got the Alcantara. This stuff, doesn't sure. even feel like it's a two LT. It's, this feel like Corvette to you? Oh my God, no! This feels like four, like a, like a 430 Scuderia <laughs> type vibe. Wow. But um. I think you should like this now. Okay. The G-forces are gonna hit you, so get ready for this. Uh, yeah. So foot to the floor with the brake, foot to the floor with the gas, and let's go. Holy s***! And it's so different with a quieter car because yeah. it's kind of like that Tesla feel where you just don't hear it, but your your body's being thrown back. Oh my gosh! Let's, let's try to get two seconds zero to sixty because I've done it earlier, and I know it's got it in it. But um, oh, you know what I can automatically feel just by sitting in here is the body stiffness. It's can? so much stiffer than a C7. <laughs> Oh, that's high praise coming from you because you've got the ultimate C7. Yeah, man, this is a completely different experience. You ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I, I think we should do better right here. Yeah. Put it forward the brake and gas. Oh my god, yeah, definitely faster. Holy s. But man, that's Woo. with 37 psi in the tire. So if you were to lower that, to oh like yeah, 32, down to like 32, yeah, 33. It'll grip much better. But wow. Different sensation. Right? That's in insane. high speed, obviously, your car is blowing this away. Yeah. But that, that, that's a mid engine car. For that's you. insane. That does not feel like a Corvette. That feels something so much. Wow. You can buy this for 80 grand. Yeah. That is ridiculous. I just feel your whole, I feel my face, my neck go back. Try to sit in the, in the middle, in the center. In the middle? Yeah. So, so you think you sit lower in this car than yours? Yeah, definitely. I think the way the seat is designed, the the, the centered portion, the bucket portion is a lot deeper. Yeah, this is the competition seats, but it holds you in pretty good too, right? Oh yeah, this is pretty seat. tight. Like the back is very comfortable. 
and it's this is a pretty it's, it's pretty strange isn't it the new setup in here like, like the floating interior you know pieces here and there it, the, the way that the that the the the, the interior comes at you on this side yeah. and it kind of it, it gives it such like a depth to the car it's like a, a like a fighter jet kind exactly of, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. This way around you and it honestly feels like I'm in like a like a, you know those bikes with the sidecars yeah. <laughs> Cause you got everything oh, surrounding perfect. you right here you know, and yeah. i'm and then i'm yeah. sitting right here just that, along for the ride that, that is a great oh my gosh i think the best part is you have cup holders that actually work <laughs> Break. You don't My even shoes. feel it shifting. Like yeah. it is just continuous acceleration. That makes me excited for the next ZR1. You know, because you know how, how good your car is. Oh yeah, but so, the next variant of it. It's gonna give people a run for their money. Even the Z06. How much will. it's gonna cost compared to the the ZR1? The, the new one, yeah. The, like the I think 20, the 2023 or 20, 20, yeah, 2025. I think it's gonna be around. 140 to 150 starting you think so yeah well obvious too if you're paying that much it's probably gonna punch a lot of its weight category right oh yeah it's performance but yeah i'm just worried about how they're gonna keep the reliability with a twin turbo 4.4 liter flat plane <laughs> on a american car do you want to do a run in that yeah 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 let's, yeah, let's ride it. along for that man this is nice i love the alcantara everywhere in this car yep buckle up yeah if you could hear the noise oh wow the, the hood it does go up pretty high, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's not you. I, it's kind of one of those things where it's like your nose, where you kind of like ignore it after so long because it's just been there. Yeah. You know, you don't see your nose right in front of your face, and that kind of just goes away after a while. <laughs> but I love the carbon fiber weave that it actually shows you. The interior too is nice. Yeah, definitely. I will, I don't think I'll own a car ever again that doesn't have an Alcantara wheel. <laughs> Just because the, you don't have to worry about your hands getting oh, sweaty. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it fits the race car vibe, doesn't it? I'm very excited about this. First yeah. time in a CR1. Oh my gosh. Name is a C8. Foot on the brake all the way. Foot on the gas. Locked in. never gonna slow down no matter what speed you get to right and you it go on one keeps point going, and yep. it keeps going yeah it, it's a scary it, it's you're right it sounds louder outside than inside yep. but inside it's not too loud like like it actually just works with the car yeah you, you want to do one more yeah you, yeah so much fun the zr1 I, I never would have expected it to be like that yeah, and it's... the power the speed with I'm so impressed with that car man yeah. i mean this is the pinnacle of a front engine corvette you know the the fact that like i love this car dearly but the fact that getting into that makes me want a base model c8 a base <laughs> model corvette over the top model front engine it's it's ridiculous that car is another world of feeling like i've never experienced anything the fact that it's an american car is ridiculous it's so much more dailyable i i can't believe the fact that you get inside and you don't feel like you're in a corvette that, and i can raise a front end whenever i want i don't, yeah. don't bottom out exactly 30 mpg on the highway yeah it's a, <laughs> a naturally aspirated mid-engine american car and this is 2020 this is what's going to save corvette's brand for the next year so this is what's going to attract all these young buyers like you and me into the into this world of american cars you know now you don't have to think about oh the cheapest mid-engine car i can get is an r8 now it's the vet 